one track, two cars and a stopwatch. It's a fifth gear shootout and this time it's one of the most hotly contested EV markets. High performance luxury EVs. And I'm dialing in my F1 know-how to find out which is the quickest. US company Tesla have drawn a line in the sand when it comes to electric cars with a blistering turn of pace, which is why the 50 grand Model 3 is the world's most popular EV. In 2020, Tesla sold 365,000 of them. But fresh off the boat from Sweden is this. It's the all-new Polestar 2. Polestar used to be Volvo's Skunk Works racing division. But now the company is flying solo as an all-electric car manufacturer. And with the Polestar 2, they're going straight for Tesla's jugular. Both cars are quick luxury EVs, but at 46 grand, the Swede is 4,000 pounds cheaper than the American. Performance on both cars is very close, with the Tesla pipping the Polestar on acceleration, but the Swedish car makes up for the extra weight with its beefier torque. Has the time come for the upstart to dislodge the king's crown? It's all down to which car can clock the fastest lap around the track, and first up, it's the Tesla. There's 476 horsepower and 575 newton meters of torque under my right foot. And remember, the Model 3 is Tesla's entry-level car. Now, all this power is wonderful, but of course, here in the UK, we have corners. And that might be a problem, because the Tesla is over 100 kilos more than the similar-sized BMW 3 Series. This thing should handle like a truck, but I was in for a surprise. The front of the car turns in beautifully well. I do like how positive the steering is. As soon as I turn the wheel, it reacts well, and the back of the car does pivot around that front axle. It's nice. Ooh, even a bit of oversteer. <laughs> However, there's no doubt that the car's agility is helped by how the weight is positioned. The battery sits at the bottom of the car, and there's actually an even split between the front and the rear, so it's actually very well distributed. Let's get on the brakes. Doesn't quite stop as well as I would like. Great punch. I have to say out of that final corner. Right, let's do a time lapse. Coming up towards the bus stop, on the brakes. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Front end, super positive in these slow speed corners. Changing direction is actually very good. Steps out of line just a little bit there, but no, it's nice to drive. Oh, and up to the line. The Tesla completes the lap in 47.34 seconds. Over to the Swede. My first impressions, I really like it. I think the ride quality is great, the steering feel is nice. Although the Polestar has a similar-sized 78-kilowatt battery to the Tesla, there are noticeable differences when it comes to power and torque. It gives away about 68 horsepower, although it does have 85 more newton meters of torque. This particular car is fitted with an optional 5,000-pound performance pack, which includes uprated brakes and suspension. You might say that's cheating, because, of course, we're trying to compare the two, but it now means that the two cars are very similar in price. In fact, there's only about £800 difference between them. But in spite of this option, the Polestar doesn't feel as quick. And that's probably because it's even heavier than the Model 3. It weighs 276 kilos more. That's four Karun Chandoks. In terms of the actual body roll, the car feels quite stable. It's got a lot of understeer in it, though. So as well as being a bit slower in a straight line, it may also corner a bit reluctantly. I would guess the lap time is going to be slower. Let's try and do a hot lap. It doesn't punch as quickly as the Tesla up to the corner. Wow, I can actually break deeper despite the weight of it. The change of direction, it's not as nimble, it's not as agile when I'm trying to chuck it around the bus stop. But against the odds, and maybe due to its great brakes, the Polestar leads the Tesla by 0.4 of a second at the first checkpoint. Across the curbs, at the chicane. Wow, I tell you what, I'm massively impressed with the ride quality. 
However, by the second checkpoint, the Polestar is a quarter of a second behind the Tesla. Last corner, turn it in, land the steering wheel. Come on, I want to go there, not there. The Polestar crosses the line in 47.88, just over half a second behind the Model 3. The Polestar is a well-made piece of kit, and I was really impressed by its handling. But if you've got 50 grand to blow, and you want the absolute fastest of these two luxury EVs, then Tesla just pips Polestar to the line.